mud flap. And a random piece of plastic. Oh, that's from here. We are not gonna need that. Footsteps. For me, those are a chunk. again Oh, money! Old Estonian 20 cents worth nothing anymore. First little job, yeah, got those all those window tints removed. Also from the back, the back one was a real pain in the ass. And as you can see, there's still some pretty nasty glue residue, which I'm going to deal with later. But yeah, it's the first day for me owning this car. So I'm just uh, looking around and doing some odd stuff. For instance, I'm going to try to remove this bumper end cap now. I have got a lot of welding coming up and I hope you are gonna enjoy it as much as I will. Hopefully. So, but overall I really like this car for some reason on the design and really cool. I have some work on the engine as well. The, sorry for the darkness here, but the generator or al alternator is busted. Intake uh, or actually exhaust manifold is busted. Uh, it shoots uh, pretty much flames into the wire firewall right now so it's not very safe to drive it and i bet there will be more little stuff on the engine side as well so let's get to work i'm gonna remove the belt here and then i'm gonna be a, able to remove the Alternator. Got that 
was a lot on the other end. So I ordered a new alternator because uh, here are some diodes or something. It has gone bad and the plastic around this has also melted. So easier for me to buy a new. And now I'm in the process of removing the uh, intake and exhaust manifold to replace the casket for those so let's get on with that I'm ready to sort a new pipe or make it myself because I noticed it was slightly leaking from top here so I'm gonna continue I'm gonna remove this and then I'm gonna try to undo the other nuts to the manifolds to get it moved away from the engine This is loose now, now I can install the new caskets, if those arrive, obviously I will need to clean all those faces nicely, but yeah, that will happen when I receive the caskets, or actually there is one casket, but nevertheless, meanwhile I'm gonna continue on stripping down the interior. <laughs> yeah that one need to be needs to be drilled out There is a lot of rust, I can tell you that. Now check this out. Oh yeah!
at least. This area looks pretty good. <laughs> Who the hell has been messing here? This is serious. Seriously mess. This is one serious mess, my friends. Probably need to sort me. Try to find myself a new center console. So I'm gonna need, need to remove those panels and this one as well. I'm gonna do that and we will see you when I get this carpet out. Oh, money! 10 euro cents. Nice. So now I will clean off this area uh, of the major rust that's just laying here. I removed those uh, P pillar mm, covers, those ones, and uh, seat uh, belts and stuff. Also from this side. Next, I'm gonna try to move, remove this stuff here. In order to remove this uh, uh, roof liner. Ground wire still Held in. Oh yeah. We got some 
this type of connectors and MacGyver tape. Nice. Allowing it. Okay, and zip tie, I believe, is holding this in. That's nice. That's really professional, mate. Ah, there is an, another zip tie. Right. Obviously, I needed to use this uh, adjustable wrench. But here we have it. That thing is not going back. I'm gonna fabricate a nicer one. But that will happen when the rest of the vehicle is done. Look, there is some rust. Oh yeah, baby. We got some nice welding work here. Shit metal work. We like it. So my next job is going to be making new coolant pipe, which goes on top here. Because in Estonia at least I couldn't find this new one at least not easily and i haven't bothered to contact the dealer of land rover so because i think if if it would be possible to buy it there it's gonna cost crazy money so easier for me to fabricate myself new one Check out my lathe solution here. So I'm gonna do both ends like that and we will see you when I have done those. And now I just uh, need to remove those brackets from here and weld those to the new pipe. And now I'm gonna attach this to the piece of wood here.
that is for the correct placing of those brackets and now I can cut it at the pipe of the here. And now I can also clean those with a wire, wire brush. Kids, always remove the galvanizing because, yeah, it really sucks to weld. First thing I'm gonna need. I clean the faces of those uh, casket areas yesterday. Now I can remove those. So now I can tighten this down. So now I can tighten the last two exhaust manifold uh, nuts because those hold also that pipe in. Now I'm gonna deal with oil dipstick mount. It's broken and it's uh, stainless. I can't weld stainless so I'm gonna make my own mount. decided to make it so that I drilled here holes for rivets and I'm gonna make that part new and 
that will turn up and get uh, riveted in there. So I can drill my holes and cut this and bend this. Cut the holes drilled. And now I'm gonna cut it out. Do more. Nice, this one is fixed now. And now I can reinstall it. Got it in there now. And now I will just need to install the bolt and we are good to go nice that job done as well So, got the new generator installed here. Brand new seat. There is this stupid uh, burglary system. I have to remove it. is leaking obviously luckily those seem to be dry need to check if there is whole oil in the diff 
did some quick patch up job here it was making pretty nasty sounds i just wanted to listen to the engine better so that's why i welded it i will obviously put or make a new exhaust for this thing when i'm done with the frame and bodywork frames need to be welded back here but in the middle here looks good that side looks good but here we have quite a big rust problem but nothing we can't manage so yeah no no worries there okay i will check here i will check it a little more and we will see you when i start doing something again and now we are gonna drive back to the garage and i'm gonna figure out the, the electrical side at least the rear uh, driving lights and uh, stuff like that so we At least the gearbox and the engine uh, seem to be quite okay. That's nice. And the transfer case also worked, but I believe that this uh, lever that uh, changes is to low and high. It's stuck, so I can't do that. I need to sort that out as well. I'm going to lift the car up from the gr off the ground and first of all I will need to remove the fuel tank then I'm gonna cut at least most of the floor out here so I have good access to frame underneath because there is quite a bit of welding works to be done as well so I'm waiting forward to that you will see that in the next episode so make sure to subscribe and trust me this will be epic because this is all pure rust we have a lot of rust here as well so see you in the next episode mates and don't forget to subscribe I'm gonna start working now